Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We go, we'll, we'll see the remaining slides. Okay, today we are going to see about the importance of the uh, project control. So first we'll see the importance of project control. Okay. So we have uh, three parameters, main parameters like control the project dimensions, then identify the issues, then demonstrate commitment, then learning. So first we'll see what is this um, control the project dimensions. Okay. Here first one is performance. So what is performance? Actually here it talks about scope and quality. Actually it is a process of I mean ensuring the set of activities and outputs. So it is actually uh, ensuring a set of activities. So it's ensuring the set of activities and outputs to meet the goals. That is organization goals. Yeah. In a very efficient and effective manner. In a very effective and efficient manner. Okay. It also actually it focuses on um, like department, employee. It also focuses on department, employee, then process, place, etc. Then schedule, you know, schedule is actually constrained to for time. You should follow the time. Cost related to all the budget activities. So everything you should keep in mind for controlling the project dimensions within the target level. And uh, customer satisfaction. So this is the actually very, very important parameter. This is the main thing. So you have to see how the customer is satisfied so that he is able to because we should make him, you should have a customer, customer loyalty. Like the loyalty of customers is very, very important. Loyalty. Yes, customer loyalty is very, very important. Yes. Then identify issues. Identify issues. Identify issues. The first step is problem solving. The first step is problem solving. Yes. Then decision making. Okay. Then. Uh, then actually you have to identify what is the problem and you have to solve that problem. Then actually it talks like it, it uh, gives a clear understanding of where currently is in the, like uh, where the problem is and where we have to I um, mean uh, uh, rectify whether it is a very early stage or I mean it is over oh, it has crossed the uh, limit so we can't uh, make it uh, to go in a proper track. So you should identify the issues as early as possible and make a decision and make the make it smooth so that the, the project finishes within the deadline limit. Then we have to see about commitment. What is commitment? Commitment is actually, uh, we can say it's a work commitment, yeah. It's a work commitment. It is the level of enthusiasm. It is the level of enthusiasm. Means uh, employee's um, uh, choice or it is his uh, responsibility, feeling, a feeling of responsibility towards achieving the goals, mission, vision of organization. Okay. Next it is uh, we have a project control processes. We have project control processes of three types. So first one is setting standards. So very very important setting performance standards. So it provides the employee with specific performance expectations. So it has some expectations. As it is actually a major duty. It is the major duty of this standards. And they are like observable behaviors, action behaviors. Then you have action. And explain how the job can be done. So it explains how the job can be done. And also, it is the results that are expected for uh, satisfactory job performance. Also, satisfactory results in satisfactory job performance. So those are the standards. Like, like that's what I said. It's the outcome of planning. It's the result, product, and planning process. So outcome means actually it is actually all this. Outcome is what? Outcome is measurable. See, it is measurable. Outcome is measurable. Yes. And it's a, it's a change, it's actually a change, it's a change seen in an individual or groups, okay, uh, communities. So the outcome measurement actually it is a systematic way to 
access the extent to which a program has achieved the result. So it's a systematic way. It is a systematic way. So this outcome is actually outflow planning is a systematic way. It is a systematic way to ex to to the extent that it the results are achieved. The results are achieved. Very very important outcome. Then we have um, product and process planning. What is a product? Product you know is tangible, deliverable that can be uh, like uh, sold to the customers or used to fulfill the company needs. So it's a product. It's a tangible, deliverable. Deliverable, anything like a document, product, all these are yeah, deliverables. So to fulfill the needs, to fulfill the needs of company. Process, process is a systematic way of doing something. For example, process could be done to create a product. So it's a systematic way. It is a systematic way to do something. Systematic way to do something. Then we have comparing, then we should see that comparing the standards to the actual performance. So it is like, uh, like standard power, like meeting the goals, like whether you have to accept or reject the outcome or analyzing deviation, for example, the managers must determine why the standards were not met. Also, it explains about the steps, like whether the control is necessary, more control is necessary or for the standards to be maintained or if there is any change, you want to, I mean, to have to do any change in the standards. So it talks about any deviations deviations and usually it's done by the manager it's done by the manager to determine why it is not done and what to do, or like uh, uh, whether the more control is required the more control is required and whether the standard can be changed okay the standard can be changed so these are things to be in consideration, like it keeps a check on monitoring is data collection. Yeah, data collection. What is data collection? You know, data collection. It is actually the way to collect data. Like it is a technique. Actually, it's a technique. Like uh, observation, questionnaire. Then you have interview. So these are the methods to collect data, and for discussion, focus groups, discussion. Okay, at, at various circumstances. The evaluation, the like analysis, how you do the evaluation, all these things, like how that is data analysis, or is it actually to have, like to have to see, is one of the common methods to analyze the information in the form of text, media, or even physical items. So it is to analyze the um, information, to analyze information, information, yeah, in the form of text, it's in the form of text or media, or any physical items, something like that. Actually, it's a quantitative type of thing. Yeah, it is a qualitative. Yeah, it's qualitative data. Then you have to take actions. So it's corrective and preventive actions. What is corrective preventive action? Is so it's actually it consists of improvements in organization process to eliminate uh, causes of non-conformities or any other desirable situation. So it, it's like doing improvements, doing improvements to eliminate. any non-conformities. Okay. Then we'll see what is the process, I mean, uh, project control focuses. So we have um, four parameters, like you have to see uh, scope control, quality control, schedule control, cost control. So what is the scope control? Scope control mainly it is a, it's a mainly it is monitoring and controlling. It is mainly monitoring and controlling the group. Mainly it's monitoring and controlling the group, and also it talks about like um, how we can do like for example change the control system and configuration the man I mean uh, configuration management. So what is this change control? That is it is a process like it is a uh, like a, it's a process through which all the requests to change the baseline scope of a project, program, a portfolio, or capture. Like, it is uh, actually approved, either it is approved or rejected by the head. Is it by the head, but it's the manager. So it actually, it is a process through which all the requests to change from the baseline. So it is actually a process from the baseline. Okay. And uh, it talks about the scope of project, scope of project. 
and it talks about uh, whether it is approved or rejected approved or rejected then portfolios all these details okay then configuration management configuration management is actually all the administrative activities administrative administrative activities yeah concerned like uh, i mean uh, maintenance yeah maintenance then you have uh, uh, quality control quality control uh, then um, etc yes then scope of work so all these things are seen in um, configuration management then quality control quality control is a very important factor so we have three things like uh, ranges specification ranges prototyping testing and validation so quality control it is maintaining the standards of the to maintain the standards it is to maintain the standard to maintain the standard of the products of the products to maintain the standards of products by testing testing the sample by testing the sample against a uh, good specification against the uh, specification yeah should match the specification to find whether it's good uh, up to the mark it is product oriented and it focuses on uh, mainly it is a product oriented it is a product oriented so it's product oriented it focuses on defect identification defect it focuses on defect identification very very important that is specific this quality control and it talks about ranges that is specification ranges these are the values which products and services should operate so these are the values values limits yeah are set by the customer requirement they are set by the customer requirements for example like for example you print label for shipping process so if the labels are too big or too small they will not uh, f uh, feed into the printers properly so that is why it should be as per the specification yeah there is a range then prototyping just a minute so prototyping mm, it is a draft version so it is actually a draft version of a product draft version of a product it allows to explore the ideas it allows to explore ideas to show the intention behind the feature or it, it show the intention behind the feature it shows the intention it shows the intention behind the feature or design or overall design before uh, investing more time before investing time and money so it gives an idea how the product will be before the uh, developing in, into a, a big mega actual product okay then testing and validation testing and validation actually it is testing is what testing is executing testing is executing in order to identify any it is executing this thing is executing a system Yes. Why? To in order to in order to identify in order to identify gap. Identify gap, then errors, then missing requirements, missing requirements. So it's very very important. Yeah. Then validation. Validation is the uh, process of establishing documentary evidence. So it is like producing documentary. evidence demonstrating that demonstrate procedure then process activity carried on testing activity carried out during testing and production production so to maintain the desired level which maintains the it maintains the desired level of compliance 
at all stages so very very important okay next we will see what is budget there is uh, schedule control uh, buffer sorry it's buffer schedule control is buffers so it talks about how we manage the project management involving like um, uh, monitoring the act, uh, st status of activities related to a project so it talks about um, status of activities so schedule control actually it talks about the status status of activities yes regarding the project and also it uh, compares the progress it compare the progress of project against the scheduled baseline then that's very very important against scheduled baseline so it allows the manager to determine if a particular project activity is uh, it allows the manager whether to find out it is ahead it is over there is it has crossed it is online or it is lagging behind lagging behind the schedule so it's very important okay so buffers what is these buffers buffers actually it is a, a, a leeway uh, the project managers has a leeway when uh, unforeseen events occur or if in, like even often associated with scheduling uh, like for example you can say about time buffers time buffers means it like time buffers time buffers there is lags time buffers like lag or uh, slags I shown you in the Perth and CPM diagram what is this lags and slag so it's a combination actually these are shown as a combination with time constraints time constraints and actually it is done to create mainly they all are done to create flexibility in project so very really important okay then we have a uh, cost control so this cost control mainly it has two factors like uh, you have uh, authorization you have authorization and earn values so cost control how to control the cost that is budget authorization and earn value authorization this is like process of giving someone permission to do something so it's like giving permission it's giving permission to someone to do something uh, it's it's like actually it is a, a preliminary setting up of permissions by a system administrator or any manager uh, project manager to just to checking the permission values that been set up uh, when a user is getting access okay so it is at the time of starting a sort like for example you starting a project it's to to get a a preliminary to give him a preliminary setting permission setting permission setting permission perm, perm, permission permission setting to give him access yeah initially uh, to create a to create a domain to create a start to is overall it is actually to giving it's to give a permission to the uh, temporary permission to a starter the earn value earn value means it is um, it's an approach where you monitor the project plan you to monitor the project plan to monitor the project plan so it is to monitor the project plan uh, actual work then talks about how the work completed value then also it uh, talks about um, budget time like how, how how much you have spent so far to this earn values 